If I were to show you this graph, how do you think it would continue? You'd probably think it would quickly fall, as it has done in the past. But would it change your mind if this graph represented the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Before exploring the implication of this being carbon dioxide, let's consider what is unique about cyclical graphs like this. With a linear relationship, like height versus age in young children, you wouldn't expect the line to continue indefinitely since, for example, a 40-year-old would be almost 4 meters tall. But with cyclical data with no trend, there's no obvious limit that would prevent the pattern from continuing indefinitely. This leads us to predict the future will resemble the past. We hypothesize that a computer model would make the same prediction. To test our hypothesis, we used Python to build a neural network trained on the data shown earlier. Here's what we found. The purple bands represent confidence intervals. Thus, it's not just our intuitions that tell us that these cycles continue. The cycles are linked to Milankovitch cycles, which represent the collective effects on the climate of changes in the Earth's movements. To assume similar cycles will continue in the future means assuming the processes at play will be the same. But the processes at play now are unique in Earth's history. With the rise of humans, notably from the development of agriculture and the Industrial Revolution, carbon dioxide is being generated at unprecedented levels. And guess what? We haven't been showing you the most recent data, which shows that CO2 levels have nearly doubled. With this, we want to make the point that atmospheric carbon dioxide remains a significant problem. We can slow its harmful effects by making conscious choices about how we consume and which products we take for granted. We can also spread awareness about how these graphs can be misleading. Cyclical data can tempt us into thinking we are more certain about the future than we can be. In these modern times, in which humans play a critical role in climate change, we need to learn to expect the unexpected.